the infinite wisdom of God. What is the origin of the world? Since God created Adam and Eve, when was it said that the world was no more? It is said, world without end. And again it is said, till the end of the world. How can you reconcile this? Do you know how we come about that statement? God created everything in pairs, male and female. Wherever there is the male, there must be the female. I am going to show you how these statements are applicable, but which has confused the world. Firstly, it is said that it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. Is it true that it is an easy thing for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle? Can a camel even pass through the eye of a needle? It is the word of God. It is the story that prolongs conversation. You will illustrate a small thing with stories to make it long. If you tell someone not to tell lies, this appears to be very short. And so you have to tell him how a certain man told lies and what happened to him. That is why we speak in this way. It is food for thought for the person. He has to sit down and wonder how a camel can pass through the eye of a needle. And that is absolute impossibility, which means that a rich man cannot enter into the kingdom of God. But if you had said that plain, it would not be interesting. And so you have to bring in some other thing. It is what the whites refer to as diplomacy. If you ask a woman to marry you and she lashes out that she is not going to marry you, that will ignite trouble because the man will think that she has disgraced him. He can do anything to her. It is because of this fear that the woman asks for time to think it over even though she knows she has already decided she will ask him to come tomorrow or come next week and you will be going to her indefinitely when you are tired you will stop bothering her it is also what the government does when you write an application for a job to them they will reply and advise you to keep writing to them because they are hoping to have vacancies in that post very soon. With joy, you will show this letter to your friends, telling them that you have been promised a job. You will write to them again only to receive the same letter. When you are fed up, you will look for another job elsewhere. But they have not denied you any job. That is the diplomacy you adopt in order to avoid, trouble, to avoid trouble for yourself. It is the same thing as the statement that whoever speaks evil against the Son of Man shall be forgiven, but whosoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit shall never be forgiven. Who told you that? Who is the Son of Man? And who is the Holy Spirit? Only the fool will be deceived. It is the same as the statement made after the Gospel. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Who is it that has no ear? It is the Word of God. Any conversation that has no story is not interesting. It is the story that the person will take home. That is why these idioms are added. Whenever we speak, you are to crack 
your brain because it is like mental sum. That is why people do not like someone who is outspoken and plain. People do not like it. You should rather have agreed and failed to do it. And so you have to twist him here and there. When he is tired, he will go. It is when he fails to come that you will ask him why he did not come on such a day because you had kept the thing for him. That is how you free yourself. Why was Christ hated? He openly told the world that their deeds were evil. Why did he speak in parable to the crowd? But in private he will reveal everything to his disciples? The disciples ask him, why do you always speak to them in parables and reveal everything to us? He told them that to you it is given to know the secrets of the kingdom of God, but to them it is in parables. Because to him who has shall more be added, but to him who has not, even that little that he has shall be taken away from him and be given to the person who has the truth revealed to the children of God. Since they do not believe, you cannot tell them the truth. But to those who believe, you have to tell them the truth. He told his disciples, I have sent you out as sheep among wolves. Be ye therefore wise as a serpent and harmless as doves. And so, when you go out declaring that Olumba, Olumba, Obu is Jesus or God, you are causing trouble. The person you are talking to is having a bottle of drink in his hand. He is smoking and he is surrounded with women. He will push you out of his house and you will not have the chance to preach against what he is doing. That is what you go about doing. Today, every person calls on Jesus Christ and they say he is a friend of sinners. Is he a friend of sinners? Does he love sinners? He has no business with sin or sinners. Have you seen him commit any sin? The diplomacy that our Lord Jesus Christ adopts does not allow you to know that he is not concerned with sin. That time was the time of Moses and the Jews were observing the Mosaic law of an eye for an eye and they were watching him. If he had said that people should no longer be killed, they would have arrested him that he had abrogated the laws of Moses. When you pick up the Bible, you will conclude that he did not touch the laws of the prophets. He did not abrogate all of them. Moses said that whoever killed should be killed. But Christ said, whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. And whosoever shall say to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the council. But whosoever shall say, Thou fool, shall be in danger of hellfire. You have seen what he has done in Matthew chapter 5, verse 22. But until today, the world said that he has not destroyed the law. Moses said, An eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But Christ says, Do not resist an evil doer, but whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, turn to him the other also. Has he not destroyed the law? Christ has completely destroyed the laws of Moses. This work does not require a fool. It requires the highest wisdom. In your case, you will stand up and open your mouth that Olumba Olumba Obu is God. 
That is why they refer to you as Confucianists. They all regard me as a good man because I have never admitted that I am Jesus our God. Read the second lesson again. Second lesson, Matthew chapter 28, verses 19 to 20. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even until, even unto the end of the world. Brethren, what we are told today is that he says, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. The first lesson says, ye shall see me, and because I live, ye shall live also. You who say that he is not here, and the one who speaks for himself that he is with you always, who is lying, and who is speaking the truth? Since the world has no end, you can see that he is with you always. Have you not seen him now? He is in your house. He is everywhere with you and you can converse with him. He has never told you to converse with a tree. He says that you should converse with him. Ask him whatever you will. What is man whose breath is in his nostrils to help you? What can he help you with? It is he alone who is the king of heaven and earth. You should converse with him and ask him whatever you desire. Have you asked him and he failed to answer you? Be obedient to God. Right from this day, converse with him. Believe in him and reverence him as the king of kings. Listen to him and obey him and you will have your request granted you. Believe at all times that you are before him and that he is the one who is speaking to you. Listen to him, reverence him, serve him, do the right and glorify him. There is no time that he tells you to believe in your father or in your mother or in your wife. He says, believe in God and believe also in me. Right from this day, believe in the Father and believe also in our Lord Jesus Christ. Do not believe in any other person. Whatever you need, the Father and the Son will give it to you because they abide forever. But man does not abide forever. And those who believe in him have eternal life. Have eternal life. I am not putting forward an argument, but I am just illustrating to you what he says. He says, Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. Which means that he is ever with us and the second lesson says teaching them to observe all things whatsoever i have commanded you and lo i am with you even unto the end of the world these two statements will show you that he is always with you it does not say that all i shall not see me but you will see me I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. And so he is not referring to the world, but to his children. The world has no business with him. The thief has no business with him. The fornicator, a liar, an angry person, no sinner will see him. It is only the children of God who have been waiting for him to whom it was to see this kingdom. There are those who see him and rejoice with him. 
He is always with them. That is why I tell you to believe. That is why I tell you not to believe in any person. Believe in him and tell him all your desires. Because he is here. The Father, Son and Holy Spirit are here. And I have told you that before. My boast is in them and I glory in them. O, O, O is an enigma. There is a proverb. We say that if you see a bird which is dancing in the middle of the road, you should know that there is someone who is drumming for it. Take the case of Brotherhood for instance. I stay in 34 Amber Street. I am not educated. I am not tall or huge. I am not anything and I do not even go out. Who then is doing the work throughout the world? Is it not the Father, Son and Holy Spirit? When I say that I cannot read the letter A, that annoys the bishops and the professors of religion and so they come up with the idea that whoever does not produce this educational qualification should not preach the word of God. When, he, when the head of the Department of Religious Studies and Philosophy, Dr. Lahove, Dr. La La Hoy. Dr. Lahoy came here. He asked, I asked him if he had refrained from fornication. He said no. What about drinking? He said he has not forsaken that either. I asked him, what then? He said he was working for his daily bread. He admitted that he was nothing. Another woman from the same department, Mistress P.K. Roy, came to see me and I asked her why she came here in trousers. I quoted Deuteronomy chapter 22 verses 4 to 5 to her and she apologized that she will not put it on another day. That is how I toy with them. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verses 4 to 5 says, Thou shalt not see thy brother's ass or his ox fall down by the way and hide thyself from them. Thou shalt surely help him to lift them up again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Brethren, you should not place your precious thing before swines. Do not give a mirror to a blind man. Do not tell people about what you have found because the day his eyes will be open, he will sing the same tune indirectly. The world believes that God is here on earth. Christ is here. Christ says that all powers have been given unto him in heaven and on earth. As a matter of fact, all powers are given to him. He is omnipotent. He is omnipresent and omniscient. There is no other person in heaven and on earth who has power apart from Christ. But now the world admits that there is power in brotherhood. But no one knows its source. That it is of God. If they acknowledge that there is power here, they have indirectly admitted 
that it is Christ who is working here. The world will know the truth about O O O. Brethren, they have also confirmed in 1 Samuel chapter 2, verses 6 to 8, that the Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. He raiseth up the poor out of the dust and lifteth up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory for the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he hath set the world upon them. And so they say that Olumba kills, Olumba keeps alive, Olumba lifts up and brings low. When somebody dies, they say that Olumba has taken him. When somebody comes to brotherhood, they say that Olumba has captured him. And they will ask if Obu is given, if they, and they will ask if Abu has given you money. This is the glory of the Father alone, but they do not know. Fortunately, he is here in our midst, but the world does not know him. That is why I tell you that he is here. I do not believe in you, but in him who is in our midst. I do not believe in any other person. I am not the one who is doing the work, but it is the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit who is doing the work. Who else could do this work? The whole world has waged war against him, and yet you have not heard any reply or statement of defense. He has fought and has overcome. Who can fight such a battle? Who has ever overcome Satan apart from the Christ alone? Who overcomes the world apart from the person who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? He says, whoever professes to be a leader but does not abide in the doctrines of Christ, he are not God. He that abided in the doctrine of Christ are both the Father and the Son. From January third, from January third, the first, from January first to December thirty first, I preach the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit to you. I do not preach Ulumba or any other person. He is here, and he is the one doing these works. This is the time of his reign, and so you should glorify him. For all that you see, I am rejoicing over him, and I knock my head for him. I do not exist. He says, teach them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always. That is my consolation. He is with me always. He is with you also at all times. There has never been a time he was not with us. That is why we should go and teach them all that he has commanded us. That is why I tell you not to fornicate. I tell you not to steal, not to kill, and not to tell lies. These are what he commanded us. He also says, Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But you see me, because I live, ye shall live also. Right now, we live with him, and we have seen him. He is everywhere. If John did not see him, 
could he have borne witness of him? But the world has not seen him, and that is why the world cannot bear witness of him, because they cannot see him. Read the golden text again. Golden text, John chapter 1, verses 26 to 27. John answered them, saying, I baptize with water, but there standeth one among you whom ye know not. He it is who, coming after me, is preferred before me, whose shoes latch it, I am not worthy to unloose. Brethren, have you heard that? He says that there stands one in your midst whom you do not know. He was before me. I am not worthy to unloose his shoes latch it. Now that you are calling Olumba Olumba Obu, there is one here in your midst whom you do not know. Who was before me and who should latch it? I am not worthy to unloose. Do you not see how I prostrate on the ground for my Lord? He is the King of kings and Lord of lords. But you do not know him. You are shouting on Ulumba Ulumba Obu to save you. But there is someone here in your midst. Have you seen him? I have told you to come out so that you may see him. But he refuses. I was said, it was said that he will be seen in the moon. And was he not seen in the moon? I ask our Lord Jesus Christ to appear in the moon for our people to see. And he brought out a lumba. Can the world say anything? It was said that all eyes shall see him. He shall appear in the moon for three days and was seen everywhere. I am not the person, but there is one in your midst whom you do not know. He is before you. He is behind you. He is everywhere and he was before me. Let the world think of itself because there is someone in the world right now which the world does not know who was before me and who should latch it I am not worthy to unloose. That is my pity for all the inhabitants of the world, the whites and the blacks alike. They are looking up to the sky for him. He was before anything and he abides forever. Was that statement of John clear to the people? Olumba, Olumba, Obu. Who are you? Are you Jesus? Are you John? Are you Jehovah? There is one here in your midst whom you do not know. He was before me and I am not worthy to unloose his shoes latch it. That was the statement of John. Jesus Christ is the ultimate. He has made a statement which I will also repeat today or tomorrow that I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. Albeit when he the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he shall show you things to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine, and shall show it unto you. Who told you that Christ died? When did he die? Who told you that he is not the King of kings and Lord of lords? Who told you that he is not here? He is everywhere lavishly doing his work. Until eternity he has no problem. His glory has neither beginning nor end. Call him whatever you are, what, call him whatever you like. Boast in him and praise his name before the entire world. Wherever you go and they do not believe that he has come, 
tell them to wait, that he is going to reveal himself to them. Ask him to reveal himself to them and he will surely reveal himself to them instantly. Do not argue with any person again. Call on him at any time. Ask the rich to believe that the King of Kings and Lord of Lords has healed him. Give him water to drink and that his sickness is healed. He will testify immediately that he has seen our Lord Jesus Christ and that he has healed his sickness. It is said that when the cano is fast, the face is bound to turn. The word of God is like chain. One link fits into the other until you have the whole. Moses came. Elijah came. John the Baptist came. Jesus Christ came. And Peter and the Apostle all joined the same chain. Now I am to pull all of them together. As it was said, if I do not do, if I do not go, he will not come. I have to finalize the race by putting all of them together. O O O is the secret name of God, brethren. Right from today. Keep aside the name of Olumba, Olumba, Obu, because it is written that he has a secret name written on his thigh. The name was sent to India and the name was sent to every part of the world and they could not come out with anything. How then? Do you know him? Brethren, you are students. And the student is not, is not greater than his teacher. Where Christ asks you to stop, do not exceed it. I have told you to stop here and not go and not to go there. Have you no ear? You heard what happened in Trinidad about someone who was investigating God. He took a photograph of a great illumination and when it was developed the picture of the father appeared you have seen that i have proved everything in summary like the theorems in geometry is the father not here on earth is the son not here is the holy spirit not on earth is Christ not the king? Have you not seen him today? As you open your heart and receive him and serve him as the king, so will you see the glory of God in you. He will bestow various gifts on you as he pleases. It is said, as many as receive me, to them will I give the power to become children of God. This is not the kingdom of Olumba. The Father, Son and Holy Spirit must be glorified. Right from today that you have heard this gospel. Do not ask for anything again. Glorify him and reverence him and walk in his commandments. And see if you will not see his glory manifest in you. It is only of recent that the word of Christ started to be preached. All the time he was here, it was the era of Moses. That is why they accused him of breaking the laws of Moses. That was the era of Moses. And so he did not speak out openly. He was in hiding 
after 2000 years when he left people started to preach about him this is his era until 1999 that is why when you preach another name people pick up their machetes against you but since this one is greater than them because the father the son and holy spirit are jointly here there is no problem whatsoever from 2000 a.d onwards is the era of the holy spirit and no other person will be heard of the father son and the holy spirit will assume complete dominion brethren one stroke of the cane is sufficient unto the wise he who has ears to hear let him hear may god bless his holy words amen end of quote peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.